Good morning everyone. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on the font brand ball. Two questions come up when this font is ever asked about. One is how do I make the swoosh? And the other one is when I weld it, any letter that hits the swoosh disappears. And as you can see when we right click and hit weld, we lose the shape of the G's. So we're going to go over both of those really quick. Now if you don't have the font, or excuse me, brand ball, you can go to defont.com and type in brand ball in the search and two come up. If you're going to use one for needing the long swishes, you want to go with the New York one. And remember, these are for personal use only. And when you get a font, whether you get it free on a website or you buy it from someone, it typically comes with a character map. And this tells you when you hit a key, what letter comes up. And as you can see, if you go down to the numbers, those are where your swishes are. So the longer the number, the longer the, excuse me, the higher the number, the longer the swish. So go back to still. And this was the word in one of the groups I was in that she was trying to do. So I went ahead and added that here. So in order to make the G's not get lost in the swish, what we're going to do is, after we're done typing, I'm going to highlight it, right click, and ungroup. We're going to zoom in so that we can see well to the G's. Now we're going to highlight both of them and we're going to make an offset. And you want to make it pretty close to the actual size of the letters. That's pretty good right there. So once we are happy with it, we hit apply. Now you want to right click on the offset and bring to front we want that in front of the swoosh. Now highlight the swoosh and the offset, go to your modify window, and hit subtract. Now the rest of the offset went away, but it cut out into the swoosh, and it left the two insides. You can delete those, but I like to leave them because this is a hole in the G, and you would see the, the swoosh continuing through. I just like the look of it, but again, you can delete that if you don't want it there. So now we're going to highlight all of it, right click and weld so that our letters are one continuous cut. Now the B and the dot and the I aren't attached to anything, so when we did a weld, they just became their own image and they're just floating. So that we don't lose them, we want to right click everything and group it so it's just one image. And I always like to fill with color just so I can see that it's all correct. And if you are getting this approved by a customer, it's good to take your cut line color out. So if you click the lines up here that are colored and then hit this one right here, it disappears. And now it looks like what it would look like in vinyl or paper or whatever you're cutting out. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.